And there are several ways to design systems to, to come up with good policies. So you can think about a brute force uh, way of doing this. This is simply going through uh, all possible policies and then estimate this uh, expect expected cumulative reward by sampling the realizations, rollouts of, of the system. Uh, this is, of course, in many cases uh, very inefficient, so we also come up with more uh, advanced methods that are based usually on having a model for uh, different quantities in the system. So the value function approaches, there we specify the expected reward conditioned on both a policy and then the initial state of the system. And then if we uh, take one step further, we can also talk about a Q function where we also make the reward, the expected reward, depend on the action now, and then the policy will follow from now on and the state at time now. And then in order to uh, get the best possible policy, then we will optimize this Q function. And there are different approaches to how to formulate this, we can do it with these Bellman equations, which is like a recursive relation for the Q function uh, over time, or we can do it in other ways. Then there are Monte Carlo methods that very briefly works like this. You have a policy estimation, so you, est you have some function where you estimate uh, the policy, uh, the, no, sorry, the Q function, and then you change your policy based on this estimate. So you can think about like a Monte Carlo uh, search, both in terms of estimating the Q function, you don't know that exactly, and also on what pi to take as your next pi. It could be a small perturbation on the current uh, policy you have. Then there's simple difference uh, methods, and they build on the same Q function formulation, but they uh, argue that it's very inefficient to actually take the first step where you do the policy estimation because you might run a, use a lot of computer time to uh, estimate the Q for a very inefficient policy. So it's actually better to on the fly change your policy. And then the uh, method that we will look at is uh, the direct policy search methods. So the idea now is that your policy will be parameterized by a model, and the model has some parameters uh, theta. You can think about this as a, a neural network that implements a conditional probability of, this, of, the, of the possible actions, so like a softmax probability if this is a discrete set of actions, given uh, the state as an input or the history of states and then there are some weights in this network and that's uh, shorthand for this theta. And the idea now is that you can try to make an estimate of the uh, of this uh, expected cumulative reward and then you can take the gradient of this function and you can try to do a sampling based estimation of the of, for example a sampling based estimation of this uh, uh, cumulative reward approximation. I should say that this thing about the gradient is one approach and that's the approach that I will talk about a little bit later and this is the so-called reinforce algorithm. If we cannot take gradients or we don't want to take gradients then we can use for example evolutionary algorithms like uh, the need algorithm. So you do a, like a Monte Carlo search in the space of policies. And these policies can again be parameterized by, by a neural network or something like that. Yes. So that was a little bit about um, what, what are the words we use when we talk about uh, reinforcement learning and a little bit about the different methods. Now I'll take a case, DeepMind's AlphaGo, and that would be the topic of part two.